What's going on YouTube and welcome back to episode number four and today we're going to be dealing with item dropping events and making items disappear after a certain amount of time. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create our new class and we need to implement listener. And today we're going to be doing something a little different in the beginning of our class and basically what we're going to have to do is do this. So what that does is reference the our main class so we can use it to create our runnable basically um it'll make more sense later and then we need to create a constructor here that accepts um this constructor will accept the plugin and will set this dot main equal to the plugin. So basically, what this is doing is we're creating this private, well, it's not private, this instance variable of our main class, and we're going to accept that main class as um, as a variable, so we can use it in a runnable. It will make more sense when we actually use it. So first off, always add event handler, public void on item drop. So when someone drops an item, and final item spawn event. So what this is doing is um, the item spawn event, and it has to be final because I will, you'll see in a little bit. All right. So first, what we want to do is make sure the entity that they are dropping is in fact um, a bowl, because bowls are the ones that you come from from dropping mushroom soup. So when you have that bowl, you want to get rid of it fast because they're annoying to just see on the ground all the time. So like five seconds, it'll disappear. And other items, I'm gonna make ten seconds. So first, we wanna this dot main that gets server. This is where the um, timer comes into play. Task later. I like to do this instead. This dot main, and then new runnable, and then we. This is how long you want it to be. So we're gonna have it. Uh, I like to put it down like this. Okay, five seconds, which is 100 ticks. There's one second is 20 ticks in Minecraft, so five seconds is there for 100 ticks. Then inside here, when it is five seconds later, so basically this delays the task that it's about to happen five seconds later. So first we want to make sure that the entity is still there after the five seconds. So there's a method that comes with it is valid, checks to make sure it's there. And then we want to remove the entity. So get entity dot remove. Very simple. However, you know that's kind of boring. I like to add a little spice to that. So we're gonna go ahead and add a noise for um when that happens. So we know that it disappeared. So this event I'll get location I'll get world that play effect is how you play um a simple effect. So it accepts the location. We want to play. I like to play smoke, and this is just how much kind of. All right. Then we want to play a sound. I like to play sounds as well. And same same deal. Get location. Dot get world. Dot play sound. And we want to get the location again. So then dot get entity. Dot get location. And then now it's a sound argument, so I like to do item pickup, it's kind of a nice sound. And this is just the pitch, and 1-1 uh, one, one is like the normal noise. So that's it, but we want to do it for other items, so we want to add our else thing, copy paste this, and make it a little longer. Let's do 160 seconds, so what is that? 8 seconds. And we'll do a different pitch for those. Point six, I don't know. You can play around with it. And then now in the P server, so this is it. This is all you have to do. Um, and let me show you why this final is important because if you remove it here, these you have to have it final for basically this error, and that just fixes it. So you come here, we want to register it, but because we um, did. we have that constructor we have to put this in there so it can accept the main class into that constructor 
Hopefully that makes sense. Just go with it and it'll become easier as you go. So we're going to go ahead and export it. And open up Minecraft here. Reload the server. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And now if we drop something else, it'll be about eight seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it was a little different pitch. And then now if we throw it and pick it up, that checks for when it was valid, if it still exists, and therefore there's no popping. So if we pick this one up, it won't pop over there, but, you know, it's just, that's what that did. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next one. Peace, peace.